Here's Crooks. Outside him is Tony Galvin, two the other way. That's Crooks' shot! Oh, what a fine save by Peter Hucker. Brilliantly tipped over. The first moment of excitement, and Crooks let one fly there from 20 yards. What a good save. And now it's Hoddle. And Archibald is going in. Impressive little spell from Spurs. That's a Flanagan shot, which may have taken a slight deflection. Rebound favoured Rangers, rather, but Tottenham still have possession with Perryman. One or two runs being made here into space, Archie Ball. That was very, very awkward, Roberts, but the ball's already over the line. The ball was already on the top of the net, put there by Peter Hucker from Archibald's cross for a corner. Although Graham Roberts, seeing the ball come back, was quick to put it into the net. Galvin short to Hazard. That's his shot, and Hucker turned it away, and there's Roberts offside against Steve Archibald in the six-yard box. Spurs adopting a shoot-on-sight policy, and isn't it working well? Mick Hazard driving it from the corner of the penalty area. The goalkeeper can only push it back into play. Watch the player on the six-yard line. He's offside. Here's Perryman. That's lifted up towards Archibald. And it found him. And he's got it down and shot over. Well, he'll be pleased with his first touch there, Steve Archibald. He controlled the ball wonderfully well. As it was driven through... Over the head of the defender, Rhoda, Archibald got it down, but the shot was too hard for the defenders. It's been a fairly comfortable second half until Hazel did that. Straight to Archibald. And he's found Crooks. And Crooks fires wide. A mistake by Bob Hazel, which has gone unpunished by Tottenham. Garth Crooks has had two chances from the left-hand side of the goal, and in both occasions... His first control has played the ball too wide and made the angle worse. Can you see that there, how he is straining to try and hook it back in? Two to give Garth Crooks a chance to get Tottenham moving. Archibald's gone through the centre, and this could be it! Archibald is through on the goalkeeper for Spurs. And Hucker has saved! And Archibald goes and sinks to his knees. That is the miss of the match so far. The throw from Clements to Crooks, the perfect through pass. He had too much time, really. He lost control almost, and Hucker got a hand to the shot. And still, Rangers don't clear it properly. Roberts. Hoddle. Little ball in for Perryman. Can the captain do it? Oh, and Hucker was brilliant and brave. He's hurt as well. Nobody's fault. It was a genuine collision, but my word. Steve Perryman... Almost had the perfect finish there to the afternoon. Hoddle chipped the ball in. It was again a lovely pass. Perryman chested it down, and look how bravely Hucker dived at Perryman's feet. They have time here to build something with Chris Hewton. Galvin's found a good position here. Hazard, and this is going to be Hoddle to strike one. And the goalkeeper got down, and again saved. And even a nice sporting as Hoddle's shot was taken at the second attempt a sporting pat on the head for Peter Hucker from Steve Archibald because this goalkeeper unknown before this season in big-time football has excelled himself this afternoon from Hazel looking up to see if Stainrod's in position which he is nice turn by Stainrod and Clements forced to go down in the end very hurriedly may have seen it a fraction late and the referee blows for the end of normal time and those tired limbs, thanks to the brave and bold goalkeeping of Peter Hucker, the tired limbs of both teams asked to sustain a further 30 minutes. Spurs have had the better of the 90 minutes, they've had more of the chances, but the score at the end of that period is 0-0. Time to build up some useful attacks.
this could be another one. He's found Hazard. Oh, and Archibald is onside. Another clear chance for him. And again, he's missed it. The Rangers players are furious. They've gone to Clive White, appealing for offside. And as Jimmy Hill's always said, there's split-second decisions, though, and so often the linesman is right. He may, yes, he may just have hung on there. You couldn't tell from that angle, really, but certainly the flag stayed down, and Archibald, for the second time, was clean through and couldn't score. Two. Here's Galvin. Hewton. Little Gary Brook, he'll try a shot from here. That's the sort of spectacular stuff the fans want to see. Driven by Gary Brook from distance with his right foot. And Peter Hucker, well, he's entitled to save that, actually. Oh, good tackle by Hoddle on Waddock. Roberts. Hoddle. Hoddle! It's there! It's there! He won it with the tackle and he scored the goal! Glenn Hoddle, the pride of Tottenham, has sent the fans delirious again. Hoddle won it with the initial tackle on Gary Waddock. Waddock was on the floor when this happened, injured. Hoddle shot, it went through Tony Curry's legs, may have even slightly brushed the inside of his leg. Hucker unsighted, 1-0 to Spurs. And Glenn Hoddle has produced it again when it matters for Tottenham. It did just get a deflection off Tony Curry, but it's Hoddle's goal. The rain's coming down. The afternoon has turned in more ways than one. Stainrod with the long throw for Queen's Park Rangers. Roberts was Hazel's flick, and Fennick was in there. And it's a goal. Terry Fennick. The set-piece ploy works again. Fennick is the scorer. Five minutes left, and it's Rangers' turn to celebrate, and the long throw works again. Simon Stainrod took it. Watch for the flick on by Bob Hazel, number five. Watch Terry Fennick come in at the far post, and the header over Ray Clement's head. It's 1-1. gone and there's the equalizer Terry Venables off the hook for the moment anyway and the whistle confirms the fact Terry Fennick from the northeast saves the Cockney Cup final for Queen's Park Rangers Keith Birkinshaw who's had so much disappointment this season Spurs thought they'd won it through Glen Hoddle and they had it snatched away from them, as indeed they've had three other prizes snatched away already this season. And Fennec shows his delight. The first fullback ever to score from open play in a Wembley final. And what a priceless goal for the second division side. A replay next Thursday here at Wembley.